Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tuesday in Red Dead Online. Now this week's update lasts from today, February the 27th, all the way through March 4th, and with it comes some more free items and rewards. This is the fourth and final week of the February event, and so today on the show we're going to be talking about all of the last chance rewards that you can unlock, as well as I'll also be giving you guys a final reminder of all of our bonuses and discounts so that you don't miss out before this event wraps up here in game and the March event gets started next week. But with all that said, let's jump in. If you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 as well as Red Dead Online, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So jumping in with our limited time free reward for this week, you can actually unlock a pair of red darned stockings. If you complete a legendary bounty this week, so all the way up until March 4th, you have that opportunity. Hopefully you did it last week because you would have got a North Ridgewood treasure map, which is pretty cool. That's going to give you about one gold bar and about $100. That's probably on average what players are making for these treasure maps in the game. A little more, a little less, or maybe a lot less or a lot more, depending on how many you've been opening, things like that. But just about a gold bar and $100 from that. Your additional player gifts, which are just for this entire month, they've been active. You don't need to log on this week only, but this is your final week, so you might as well take advantage of it. All you need to do is log into Red Dead Online so you can be rewarded with three minty big game as well as three Brookstone Bolus. If you successfully reach wave three of Call to Arms, you will get an offer for 10 gold bars off the prestigious Bounty Hunter license. Now I have received some comments talking about this. That they actually had to complete wave three in its entirety in order to get the reward. So definitely give that a try if you say just completed waves one and two, you got to wave three and quit and you're like, hmm, I didn't get this reward after waiting 72 hours just to make sure it shows up. Well, try just completing wave three as well. If it's still not showing up, then, then there may be an issue and you need to reach out to Rockstar Support to get credited that gold bar gift. But moving on, we also have an opportunity where if you reach low honor anytime within this event month, you will get a black pair of woodland gloves. And then if you also take part in either the Day of Reckoning or the Manhunt Free Roam events for the Bounty Hunter role, you will receive an offer for 40% off a single bandolier of your choice. Now, when talking about our reminders for bonus money, gold, and XP, we have double gold money and XP on legendary bounties as well as infamous bounties. Unfortunately, throughout this entire event month, normal free roam bounties with the one, two, or three dollar sign icons on bounty posters should have been double gold as well. That's been glitched this entire time. Infamous were also glitched at one point, but Rockstar did end up fixing it. Some of them are still bugged, so the majority of Infamous bounties and Legendary bounties, all Legendary bounties are double gold money and XP. The majority of Infamous bounties are double gold money and XP, and then just the normal bounties right now when it comes to in-game payouts, they're just double money and XP. They're supposed to be double gold, but players aren't getting it. We also have double money and XP on the free roam missions in this game, double money and XP on the Day of Reckoning free roam event, as well as the Manhunt free roam event. Both of those are tied to the Bounty Hunter role. And then of course we have double money and XP on the featured series game modes. When it comes to our discounts for this event month, you have five gold bars off the standard Bounty Hunter license, including 30% off all Bounty Hunter outfits, 30% off all Bounty Hunter wagon and wagon tints, 30% off the reinforced lasso, 30% off the split point ammo cartridge, 30% off poison arrow pamphlets, as well as 30% off the poison throwing knife pamphlets. And we also have 30% off the Missouri Foxtrotter multi-class horses, as well as 30% off all bolus in the game. In terms of our 40% off discounts, you can get 40% off the prestigious Bounty Hunter email 40% off all sniper rifles, 40% off all throwing weapons, 40% off offhand holsters, as well as all dresses and chaps in the game. Now, when it comes to our money, gold, and XP guide for the bonuses, as well as our buyer's guide review for the discounts, I do have those videos linked down in the description below. But basically, if you just want to get like a too long didn't read and you don't want to check out that video, stick around because I will talk about it very briefly at the end here, how you can maximize money, gold, and XP from this month before it goes away, before the bonuses go away. And same with the best discounts that you want to pick up this week in Red Dead Online. But moving on, we have our limited stock clothing that is going to be going away as well. This consists of the Shambliss corset, so make sure you pick that up if you're a female character. Same with the hitch skirt, the Hopeman vest, as well as the Griffith chaps. This week's featured series calendar game mode is Hardcore Pro Series 3. And then moving into our community inspired outfit this month, it is inspired by Insamer Wolf 2000, and it features the Tildem hat, the ribbon tie, 
the everyday shirt for male characters or the Iniesta shirtwaist for female characters, the opulent vest, the Brakeman jacket for male characters or the Hardle Autumn jacket for females, the range gloves, the cuff town pants, as well as the hardy boots. Now, like I said, here's how you can make gold money and XP this month. Feel free to check out this month's guide link down in the description below. But basically, you want to stick to that 12 minute legendary bounty method because you're going to get over $350 and 64 gold nuggets on a top tier legendary bounty. Overall, this is going to offer a very lucrative opportunity here with those top tiers because you're going to get the optimal payouts for your time invested. And while that legendary bounty is on cooldown, try and complete two to three infamous bounties at 12 minutes apiece. That way, in the meantime, you will get 64 gold nuggets from those bounties, and you'll also be getting lots of money from those as well. Unfortunately, like I said, when it comes to the free roam bounties, despite an announcement for double gold, it's currently only double money and XP, so you probably want to stick away from those. When it comes to those free roam missions, 12 minutes again, that's going to get you about $35 to $40 and 32 gold nuggets. That makes a profitable choice for players seeking variety, or if you don't have the bounty on to roll yet, that's your only option really in the meantime to continue to earn gold, and you can also get double money at the same time as well. When it comes to the Bounty Hunter Free Roam events, you get about $65 for a match that lasts between 9 and 12 minutes. And along with that double money and XP, you get an efficient way to earn some money and experience in the game, but it's not something you can grind because they're just Free Roam events. Then, moving on here, the Featured Series. This is what I always recommend for players if they don't have any other role in this game. Free Roam missions are worth playing, but if you want to do some PvP with the Featured Series being double money, you get about $45 every 9 minute match with that double money and XP. So again, ideal for players looking to quickly earn extra gold and money to embark on their bounty hunting journey, hopefully before this event month wraps up. And then when it comes to what I recommend you buy and avoid this week, if you haven't checked out my discounts buyer's guide, which like I said, will be linked down in the description below, definitely bounty hunter license worth picking up. That's essential for any serious player. When it comes to the sniper rifles that are 40% off, the Carcano rifle is going to be your ultimate choice. It has superior damage per second output. It has superior rate of fire and its effectiveness in both PVE and PVP is amazing. It outshines the rolling block in most scenarios, making it a vital addition for long range engagements. The rolling block is still really good because it does a higher damage output, but it has a much lower rate of fire. So you're doing less DPS over time. Then when it comes to those Missouri Fox Rider horses, these are really good horses. They're known for their excellent speed and acceleration. And they're overall just really versatile horses that excel in various activities in this game. And they offer a nice balance of agility and durability for any player when it comes to the health and stamina rings that they possess at level four bonding. The Bounty Hunter Wagon is absolutely worth it. And it's a must have for handling multi-target bounties. It secures and captures your targets and it's going to maximize mission payouts because it doesn't let the targets leave and escape just as long as the wagon doesn't actually get attacked but be careful you need to guard it because it is vulnerable to incoming attacks and then the reinforced lasso also pretty good here it extends the time that your targets that you capture stay hogtied and then the bolus in the game provide a nice ranged option to immobilize your targets and both i would argue are crucial for improving your bounty hunter efficiency but with all that said that's all the time we have for in today's video Hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Reddit Online, as well as Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, once again, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios, and be ghosts.